Well, it is four in the morning today. Starting these even earlier now. So, it's another flying day today. I've just stopped off and grabbed my picnic, my one pound sandwiches that everybody commented about. It is really sunny today, but it's also freezing cold. So I think it's gonna start to get challenging going to this field because when it rains, the field becomes a swamp. So I got my Wellington boots ready for it. I'm meeting my friend Phil as always and check this, rear view cam shot. That's good timing, isn't it? Cows, bullocks, squelchy underfoot. Yeah, have you picked your favorite yet? I've picked my favorite. What well, we got here, Phil? It's a new quad, but I didn't build it, so who did? I did, man. It's just not some. It's a complicated Meccano set with um, some sexy red and black stuff all over it. <laughs> Absolutely, that's the only reason I bought it because it was red and black. I've never heard anyone describe it as a Meccano set before. Defo. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. Yeah, it's more compact than the uh, other one I've got. It's nice. So, can you remember the specs? We have got Zing E motors and the KV is 2450, so 4S. And then we have got a Success E-Flight stack, so the same one that's in the Nazgul 5. Nice and cheap, probably what I would use in my Great build value for today. Money. Oh yeah, amazing value for money. And then up here, this is the air unit, and we've also got the XL5 dead cat frame, I think it is called. And that is because Phil wants the props out of shot, he's using the DJI camera to get the HD feed so you can stick his battery on top and get really decent flight times. That is smart. But the Phil. most important thing of all is you need one of these to go with that. Oh, listen and it has him. to be mode one because that's the proper mode, not this mode two thingy. Mode one. Listen at him. He's just I knew this would cause trouble. <laughs> But I would always say fly mode 2 just because everybody flies mode 2 and I like to show people how to do stuff and it's quite tricky showing them when everyone's got a mode 2 set. Everyone says like, turn it upside down. Yeah. <laughs> it's on this lovely clean chair. <laughs> what are the props? Are those the Johnny FPV no, props? No, I saved the Johnny FPV ones because I've got them on the other Titan. So I thought, okay, have another set of spares for that. What's on this one are these. Oh, Dow prop. Mm, got two pairs of them, so one on there, one lot spare. So we've got this new quad here, that's a GMB 804S, I think, and you've got another one over there. Yep, cool. Where's your analog stuff, Phil? Um, today is the first day in many, many months where I just couldn't be asked to bring it up. That is going to upset. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. It's normally the best backup in the world, but uh, not today. Well, sorry. I'm sad to say I haven't brought any analog with me either, so... The sun's out, I want to see everything. Even the plane is DJI. <laughs> what are you doing, Phil? This looks cool. I'm making does. things more interesting. So Phil was telling me when he was younger, he used to like licking nine volt batteries, so he's gonna lick this fence. I'm not, I might <laughs> touch it with my finger. Why is it electrocuted, Phil? People want to know. Because I spend hours mowing this patch to a beautiful lawn. Look, it's got lines and everything. And if you don't protect it with an electric fence, the cows will just live on it and destroy it. Lines. Like footballers. Phil is such a thrill seeker, Luke. What are you doing, Phil? Get me fixed, man. Your feet are wet. Oh, Jesus! Holy crap, Phil. I blew my top off. Oh, God, that's a good one. Let's turn that down a bit. Jesus. No, no, we've got, it's got, <laughs> it's got a... You do it now, I'm not I'm not, that again. I'm not touching it. This is, I've got a scissor kick over this fence now. Now do it with your tongue. <laughs> no, no. So this is the maiden hover of Phil's iFlight Titan build. I've checked everything over. We did the beta flight and also the BL Halley stuff over the phone, believe it or not but I did lots of checks and redundancy checks. So if something's wrong, it's not my fault. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. Make sure, Phil, that you just have your finger on the arm switch. The only thing that can be wrong is the props on the wrong way at this point, I think, but- I'll check out this morning when stuff and on. Yeah. No idea what mode that's in, let's just try it out. <clears throat> Fully back is angle mode. 
Look at that. That's not good. That feels good. That feels really smooth. You want uh, a way from you for angle mode, Phil, if you want to do that. So it's, uh, do you want me to do it for you? Yeah, we do it this left, I want. It's that, that one. So is it self level now? So we know it's working. Long body, great, okay. We're good. Yeah, that's self level. Well done, Phil. How many more are you going to build now? Uh, it depends on the bank account. <laughs> yes. It does get a little bit more. As you learn, you want to progress and do something different. The next thing I'm looking at is one of these little long range things. That looks super cool. Ah, oh, they're great. This one's pretty long range though, isn't it? When you've been oh, yeah. flying with the XL5. Like, uh, duration though. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Knowing you, Phil, you'd be one of these that wanted to fly for 40 minutes or whatever. That's close enough. Down in one piece. We've got the fire going, check it out. Have you actually looked to see what it's like th through the goggles like when it comes to movement is it yeah it's great it's great it's like you just sat in a glider cockpit sticking your head over the side looking around with the canopy off what are those two yellow straws holding the antenna up? that's really cool it's just a basic mount i wanted the antenna to be up and out the way there are a couple of pieces of plastic from um airplane snake control system oh yes i recognize the them now. for the screws um that was it, just bodge it in place. This is like bodge mark two on the FPV thing. <laughs> Look at it go. It's like a little Johnny Five robot. Yeah, very slow. <laughs> Number Johnny Five. That's what got me into this hobby, believe it or not, that movie. Short circuit two. Okay, wind check. Hardly anything. Timer on. Okay, take it off. <laughs> Bad, not bad. Dirty great big cloud. It's slightly nose heavy, heavy as I thought for stability. That's okay because we've got a little bit of breeze today. Does the gyro not stabilize that out though if it, it like corrects for it? It irons out the wrinkles. It's not going to correct a plane that is overly tail or nose heavy. Right. If you set it too sensitive, it'll be fighting itself and be uncontrollable. Okay, that's a bit of a steady run. Let's just do something with the camera. So that's going to be pan right. Hopefully, what I set it up the right speed so as you make the turn, you're following where the camera is looking. Yeah. Back to straight. I think the thing's stable enough that you can just sort of bleed on the elevator, get in a straight line, then just mess around with it, Phil. We're going to go left and tilt down. I should be more or less looking at the tree as I rotate around it. So this is the maiden flight of Phil's quad build. I'm looking through in audience mode, so it's not going to be as good a quality as Phil sees, but hopefully we should see something. Good to go? Yeah. Okay, record time. In your own time, Phil. And take it off. Disarm. Arm. Oh, look at that, going straight up. <laughs> You're an acro, I take it, yeah? Yeah. So far, so good. Feels just like the other Titan. So you shouldn't have any problems on mid throttle now. Look at that.
And the sun comes out for you. Not fair. <laughs> Go straight into rolls rather than just, you know, let's just check it out first. Well, it's going to go wrong. It's going to go wrong. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. You can cry. I've done that many times. Yeah. You, you watch yourself around those trees. What's your bars like? Oh, I can see you've got 25 yeah, megabits. They're sticking straight up. <laughs> All right. It's breaking up in audience mode. But you must be fine because I can see your. I lost two bars there actually. Megabits. I think Did the you? The tree's very wet. Yeah, the trees do make a difference. Audience, look at that. Yeah. Do you prefer this 16 by 9 mode then, Phil? Opposed to the um, the four by three. Well, you just you know, if you got a screen, you may as well use it. It's a funny one though because it, it does use it, but you actually lose. Well, what field I'm finding view. with this whole whether it's analog or digital, if you're focusing on like the quality or something's not quite right, you're not focusing on the flying. What the hell are you doing? It's the flying, man. It's the whole thing. It's just I think I'm just so used to a four by three camera as well. I think from analog. A little bit of jitter there. Is that from you or the quad? Quad. <laughs> I'm not freezing. It's jittering, is it? I can't see it through here, but I'd have to fly it to see it. I mean, I, usually you can see jitter through the camera and we're not getting that like your other one. Count three seconds and pray. <laughs> That's what I've learned the hard way. Count and pray. When I used to work in banking and we had to do like a big transaction, we used to say, close your eyes and authorize. Probably why uh, the banking system started to fail around 2008 when I started working there. You're messing around with trees already. They're interesting things. Break up again from audience mode. It is a shame that audience mode isn't quite as good as when you're looking through the actual goggles, like in terms of break up. I mean, if you go behind trees, that's only when it does it. Mm. You can take it away pretty far and it doesn't do it, but it's, as soon as there's a tree in the way, the audience mode gets blocky. There's a lot of water around there. In fact, there's a big bucket of water there. What I would say is, Phil, on your brand new quadcopter, is don't dip it into a bucket yeah, of... There's a gap, man. Look at it. it there is wow. a gap. There's also a pond either side and a big load of water. It, do not. <laughs> so you were going to do it then. So tempting. So I think you're answering the question yourself to how many of these you're going to have because one of these days it's going to end up in that pond. Every time we come here, he eyes up this trough thing. You get the great weather. And I get blooming clouds and overcast. What's your battery voltage like? I don't care. Well, you maybe should a little bit. I am looking, yeah, I'm landing now. Does it feel satisfying to have built the whole thing? Um, yeah, didn't understand some of it, but, you know, it's all part of the uh, journey, as you say. But defo going to build a ton more. Yeah, it's addictive. Oh, I've put that landing pad right next to the bull zapper. Yes, you have. That'll do. That'll do. Nice one. This is Phil's Titan Quad. He's flying at FPV. Pretty much no adjustments from building it. Just stock beta flight, PIDs, and did a bit of a setup over the phone with him. And 
He's straight out to the trees, herding the cows. A great colour scheme that he's put on this one with the red props. Oh, how close to the trees! I'm flying the LR4 here. And Phil's making it very difficult to follow him. <laughs> Oh, he's just cruising now, look. Oh, that, that looked close. close. I know. I got that proper lined up. Is this the gap you're talking about, Phil, at this uh, end of the There is one down field? in this corner, yeah, hang on. No, don't you do anything that you don't want to There's do. There's pond in the background. Yeah. This little corner just here. Oh, you can go through there. Oh, there's the grass. Where are you? What, which bit are you looking at, though, to get through? Um, where oh. there's a gap. Oh, you're going through there? Oh, is that the gap you, you mean? Well, oh, kind of, yeah. There's so many... There are lots of little gaps there, but signal with all these wet trees is terrifying. It's not too bad. Mine was okay. I'm talking about the pond and going oh, through there. you've got to be brave to go through that lot. What? Yeah, because you drop, you're basically dropping below the line of sight. Yeah. I ain't going in there. I'm in there. I'm through. I'm, I'm by the pond. No way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your signal like? Uh, 25 megabit. I'm not flying over the pond, forget that. I'm doing the gap in the trees. Probably gonna get sketchy. Yeah, it's Ooh. getting sketchy there. 16, That's so good to go through. 16 megabits. What's through here though? Completely losing my line of sight in here. So it's going down to 21 megabit. And I'm only running 25, 17 megabit. I'm in the woods. I'm in the woods. And there's loads of little tiny trees here to play around with. Did you fly over that pond? I'm, I'm by the pond. <laughs> I'm right on the edge by the pond. Only problem is, what's my 21 megabit? Need to get up high, really. And then there's that tree gap. I'm right at the edge of the pond. 19 megabit, 17 megabit. Oh, there's a little stream that goes into the pond. Yeah. It comes from like this field, I think. So I just found a beautiful gap. To oh, a, my signal's terrible. Damn. A bit of exploring. It's gorgeous, though. So I think this, yeah, there's a stream. So I've been flying over a, a stream in this gap here. It runs down to like another little pond in the corner of That's the That's it. Field. Oh, this is sweet. Whole little forest fill that you can just fly through. <sighs> Got my Chinese. One chicken curry and one egg fried rice, if you are wondering. And there you go, that is another day of flying. I hope you enjoy these type of videos. I certainly enjoy making them a lot, and the comments seem to suggest that you like them. And if you want to support the channel, I'll put a link to my Patreon in the below, and any links that you click in the video description or pinned comments helps me out a lot as well. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.